today we have us a 625i Gator with, it was an engine running complaint, runs rough, lack in power, low fuel pressure. Spec is 25 to 26 PSI and we'll just cycle the key once here, fuel pump prime and all we ever build is about 16 PSI. So while I was doing that I figured I'd make a quick video on AC coupling. So right here, just to check the health of the fuel pump, we got our amp clamp, but then I also got a voltage lead in there. So, focus. What we have is our yellow trace is our voltage, AC coupled at one volt, and then our green trace is our amp clamp. So if we go here, we can actually see there's our amperage, garbage, Fuel needs a fuel pump, end of story. But here is our voltage, AC coupled. And if we bring this up, we can see it pretty well mirrors. There are some variations, but it pretty well mirrors the overall amperage from the fuel pump. So in certain situations where you can't get this clamp in, your clamp battery died, whatever it may be, it is very possible to Take a voltage reading, AC couple it, and get a usable waveform to be able to determine overall pump health. Now this system in general on these machines is uh, really, really electronically noisy. Uh, here's one capture of a known good. There's just a little more zoomed in of a known good or a known fairly good. We can see our nice even humps and all. Same here, nice even humps, fairly even here, compared to what we got going on here, which is just all sorts of noise. But then if we actually go, uh, we'll get to that one in a second. Now here's one on a 03 Chevy pickup I recently did. And we have same thing, amperage is green, voltage is yellow, and you can see we're missing entire commutator bars there. But once again, just to prove out the point, we have almost a perfect match. Now I did invert our voltage trace here, just for demonstration purposes, because normally the voltage would drop down as the amperage goes up, but for demonstration purposes, we can see that holds water there. That's what it would look like normally. Same thing, mirrored. Seeing a little more artifacts, a little more hash in these captures, uh, just nature of the system and nature of voltage versus our amp clamp pulling some out. And then if we go here, this is just another example of AC coupling. Uh, this one was on uh, 13K2500HD Chevy pickup. One was taken at the uh, fuel pump relay, the other was taken at the fuel pump fuse. So there's a few different places you can take them, and you can actually get a fairly decent waveform out of it. So just a real quick heads up, something some people, most people probably know, but some people don't. And if you're ever in a jam and you really need to go that route, you don't have your amp clamp, um, you can use AC coupling off of your DC voltage. Uh, will work for something like this blower motor here. Uh, basically any kind of actuator you would normally current ramp you can do something very similar to get a decent waveform now would you be able to without knowing overall amperage convert this AC coupled uh, DC voltage signal into an actual amperage reading somebody smarter than me probably could but I know I can't and let's go back here and just I'll show you guys real quick here so on, that brings up, and stop, and then we'll zoom out. And then you can actually see our initial spike here for our voltage, same with our current. And let's just bring it back down. So same deal. Oop. Minimize, 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 minimize. Ah, come on now. There we are. So, may help you, may not, just figured I'd put it out there.
Have a good one.